I just finished the installation of the 17 inch Cozilla photo frame, which is also available in the 10 inch version. It makes the perfect gift for the shopping season. I'll show you how easy it is to set it up in gift mode without even opening the package. It's a great way to share memories with loved ones with unlimited cloud storage. It can be used with a kickstand in landscape or portrait mode, but I prefer mounting it on my wall with a super clean finish with the included cable raceway. It even comes with an in-wall cable management kit to make the cable invisible. I didn't go with this option because my photo frame mounting position is not directly above the AC receptacle. But I'm super happy the way it turned out. A small desk will be placed in front of it so it's not going to be noticeable. Let me show you how quickly I can transfer photos from my phone to the photo frame. I can manage multiple photo frames at the same time by using the shared album. I can select up to 30 images or 10 videos at the same time. Click add. And now it's here. Those same photos are also available on my 10 inch Cozilla photo album. The 10 inch version has a similar design with the same 4x3 display ratio. They both have IPS screen with wide viewing angle. They both have the same 1280 by 800 resolution. Can be used in portrait mode or landscape mode. They work exactly the same. It's worth mentioning that all of its settings is available in the phone app. So you don't actually have to physically come here to update all these settings. There are four ways to send photos to the photo album via email, Cozilla app, Google Photos, or Instagram. The photo frame gets assigned to an email address. I'm going to take a photo in real time and you can see how seamlessly this works. And it's sent it over. Upload local photos, select the photo I just took, add, add a note, so it will be, the text will be also displayed on the photo album. I can also copy this same photo to all of my other Cozilla photo albums to submit. And it's available right here one continuous shot. See how quickly it, I was able to send a photo like that. Go to the settings, account, and connect to my Google Photos account or my Instagram account. It supports batch upload of more than 10,000 photos from Google Photos. The talking photo feature allows me to add a photo and provide a recording. You can record up to five minutes of talking photo. Start recording. This is my favorite cat food. Submit. This is my favorite cat food. Here's a quick walkthrough of all of its settings and control options. You can play or pause the slideshow or just use touch sensitive gesture to go over these photo options. Thumbs up, refresh, basically to sync up with the cloud, to randomize the display or do sequential display. There is a shared album selection or art gallery, play all or talking photos. The art gallery comes with lots of interesting preset photos already loaded. There's an option to turn off the screen and the little touch will bring it back. We also have the volume control and the brightness setting. Let's go to the maximum brightness setting. Under the main settings menu, we get to pick for the slideshow intervals. The default is around 10 seconds. We can set it to off so it doesn't do automatic um, play to the next one. Five seconds, let's do 20 seconds. The longest is five minutes. Visibility settings, we can show or hide the description. So it will show the location where the photo was taken and the um, text message or the notes included by each photo upload to this photo album. 
shows the network status, all these uh, interesting information. Additionally, I would like to see the time on the display so it can be used as a clock. Coming back to the settings, uh, there's another interesting setting that's called the filter by orientation, which means when I'm using this photo album in the portrait mode, it will not display the landscape photos. If I come in back here, you don't see any landscape photos, right? If I bring that option back, it will be able to display horizontal photos, automatic crop. So it will crop in just to fill the whole photo frame well, without leaving any blank spots. Playback effect, we have the background, whether it's blurry, white, or black, or Instagram, you know, these are colorful background. Playback effect, 3D depth e effect. Take a quick look, you know, something like this. Also got the sound, video sound. By default, it is muted or unmute. Otherwise, if your video contains audio information, of the other end, when it displays that video, you will hear the sound from the photo album. So that could be uh, disturbing. Therefore, have it, having it muted by default is um, preferred. Sleep schedule, so during 11 p.m. to 6 p.m., I will, you know, this photo album will automatically turn off its display. So it's not shut down, it's just as if you click the display off option. There's also a sensitivity uh, because it has the light sensor built in, has automatic br brightness, or it can just do off. So screen will turn off in dark environments. Um, after the light is completely off in this room, it will just automatically turn off to conserve energy. By the way, the power consumption is around five watts. The Wi-Fi setting, just in case uh, the Wi-Fi um, router information is changed, we can go back there to update it. And we have system di diagnostics and belt device, all these serial numbers and, and um, more about nerdy stuff. I'm gonna set up this 17 inch digital photo frame from Cozilla without even unboxing it as it supports touchless gift mode. So first of all, going to the Godzilla app, the gift mode set up as a sonic gift. It will be able to support a message and photo and greetings and with all these Wi-Fi username and password already set up. So uh, my old folks don't have to worry about all these technical details. Son, I'm setting, up, uh, setting it up for my dad. The device email, it will be able to generate uh, random submit next so that email address can be used for receiving the, e uh, the photos gift message and photo i'm just going to type in hi good album going to add a cat photo as a quick test case submit setting up wi-fi username and password i'm going to do it off the screen and I'm gonna sk skip the rest. Otherwise, you can totally add more photos to it. It also supports wall mount, the device installation instruction, device activation. It's all covered in this piece of paper. There's a power input and a USB type C input. Two keyhole mounts for the, uh, the portrait mode or the landscape mode. Power on off switch. Two drywall anchors and two screws. More cable management stuff. Wall mounting plate. 90 degrees joints. Plug into the wall power outlet. I have a power meter here so you can see the power consumption. the kickstand so it can be used in the landscape mode or the portrait mode uh, support automatic rotation now gift from someone else 
So from this screen, I'm going to click share, send it via Gmail. So I got this message. I'm going to play the MP3 sound. Hello, dear dad. Welcome to Kazilla non-touch gift mode, a special gift from Kyle. Please maximize your phone volume and point its speaker to the frame's microphone within two feet. Kazilla frame will instantly set up the preset Wi-Fi, reading message, and photos. Or you can manually connect the frame to Wi-Fi network and input the gift code. If you want to manage the frame laterally, download my Kazilla app and bind the device with the gift code. Configuring preset content. A good album got the message. I got the photo. There's a countdown for th three, four seconds. Skip. Swipe left and right to switch photos. Next. This is the Cozilla 10 inch photo frame. Let's take a look and set it up. It supports touchless gift mode so you can uh, remotely set up this thing and give it to um, parents and they will be able to just play a voice message and, or use a code to set it up remotely without having to enter the uh, Wi-Fi username and password if you uh, do that remote setup from the, your uh, Cozy Level app. It can also be wall mounted or using the stand. I have a larger version. So this is the quick start guide. You maybe might want to you know, pause and read. That's that. Let's get right to it. The kickstand is going to be in this pack. The charging uh, voltage is 5 volts, 2000 milliamps. Has two keyhole mounts so it can be mounted um, in the horizontal or vertical mode. Kickstand. I'm just going to put it here. This is a 4 by 3 ratio. I noticed there's a USB Type-C port too. Now it's booting up. It should support touch sensitive control and uh, automatic rotation. Slightly change the stand orientation. Okay, it's like this, then I can use it vertically. That's the setup. I'm gonna try set up for myself. So I'm doing the code match for the device, connect recover it from my previous photo album. It shows connecting to my Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi connected. Complete the rest of the setup. Loading photos right now. This is a quick guide. We have the settings on the top and it can optionally turn off the screen. Adjust the volume, adjust the brightness level. And the automatic rotation is pretty snappy, actually. I think the ease of use and unlimited cloud storage makes this digital photo frame the best gift. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.